Ebola is a small RNA virus, and it is a virus that, when it enters your system, immediately attacks certain types of white blood cells and eventually leads to a destruction of your blood vessels and a tremendous amount of hemorrhage. But your symptoms, when you first um, start manifesting them, uh, are very ordinary. They're sore throat, headache, the I don't feel goods, malaise kind of thing, and your muscles hurt. So at that point, you don't look necessarily like the virus that's infecting you is Ebola. It's going to take a few days before you start having really bad symptoms such as diarrhea, vomiting, um, and then slowly hemorrhaging. Um, the liver is, is attacked very early on, so you, um, you get a lot of bilirubin in your blood and your skin can turn yellow. Your eyes, your sclera turns red, and you start uh, eventually going into hemorrhagic disease where you're, there's blood coming out of virtually every orifice. The biggest problem with this particular outbreak is that it started in December of 2013 and nobody knew it was happening. By the first time people had an idea that there was an Ebola outbreak some, in, in, in some rural part of Guyana, it was already February. So by then, individuals who were contaminated had spread to urban areas. And that's one of the reasons that this thing has gone so fast out of control, because we never got to it when it was very small and localized. This is a very, very, very aggressive virus. And anyone who comes in close contact with the fluids that are filled with virus from a person who is infected their blood, their urine, their saliva, the sperm, any of that can become infected. There are cultural aspects that have complicated this outbreak. The most serious of those cultural um, habits is that it is considered proper and polite for members of the family to wash and bathe and clean the body of a deceased relative. And when they do that, they've exposed themselves to these uh, bodily fluids that are filled with virus and therefore putting themselves at risk. There are many different strains of Ebola and some are much more virulent than others. Some have caused a 90% death rate. The one that's out there right now in West Africa is uh, causing about 60% death rate and it varies with the different countries. Right now we're seeing the worst death rate in Guyana which has about a 75% death rate. And that relates to the fact that it is such an impoverished country and it's hard to get to patients and to treat them appropriately in time. In Sierra Leone, it's closer to 42, 43%. Well, there's two things that the World Health Organization's uh, Global Outbreak Alert and Response Network wants from me and from FIU, really. And that is um, they want a clinician to be there to help support the patients and rescue as many people as possible. And number two, to do data analysis. And by data analysis, we mean basically trying to understand what's new, what's different about how Ebola, this particular new strain of Ebola, is affecting people and how it responds to the various things that we can do to treat their symptoms and perhaps um, to actually use some of the experimental medications that exist on these patients if we're given humanitarian permission to do so.